Are you a PC gamer? Do you like discovering new games? Well, you've come to the right place. Gaming Session is a weekly series designed to both entertain and introduce you to new games. So sit back, relax, and hold on to your wallet. This is Gaming Session. So in the last episode of Gaming Session, I played a game called Inside, and I absolutely loved it. Since then, a lot of people have suggested that I try this game, Limbo, which is also made by Playdead. So let's check it out and see if it's just as good. I'm not sure if this game has the same story as Inside, but it certainly controls are very similar. What's down here? Oh! We're dead. Right, it seems as though we've came across our first obstacle. I guess I'll just pull the boat, jump on the boat. Okay, yeah. This doesn't look good, but I want to see what happens. Oh, fucking hell, there's blood everywhere, okay. I wasn't expecting it to be that savage. Play Dead really have no problems in killing kids, do they? Pull this here and try and get that meat thing in here. So we jump. That's going to fall down. And now we can get up here nice so we've got some spikes in that tree up there for some reason so we're obviously going to need to climb this tree at some point oh what are you oh it's a fucking spider dude you what i hate spiders i hate spiders i hate spiders i don't want to. i don't want to i don't want to i do i don't want to i do not want to why did that scare me so much? I fucking hate spiders so much. I hate them with all of my life. There we go. You didn't like that, did you, you bastard? Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's climbed in the tree. I don't like it. I feel so uncomfortable knowing there's a spider around here. Oh, great. We're probably going into a fucking spider's nest. Please tell me I'm not walking over spiders. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck, dude! No! No, please, 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 please. Fuck off, dude, fuck off. Please don't, 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 no, no. It's not... You what? This is supposed to happen, surely. Oh my god. I don't like this game, this is too scary for me. Right, hop, little boy, hop. There's just something about the whole black and white art style. It gives you more of a sense of the unknown and this fucking spider's back onto me. Right, okay, we're free. We're good. No idea how he survived falling off a mountain, but we're good. Oh, we found a friend. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, the person got hung. This game is fucking savage. I just, I basically killed him. Jump here. Jump onto here. Jump over the rock. Fuck off rock. Jump here. That's a scary sound. I don't like the sound of that. Jump here. Don't get spiked. Right. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, my God. Please, no. Please, no. Um, what? what, what, what? I'm going to drown. I'd rather... Dr okay, uh, drowning isn't an option, apparently. Run, dude, run. Jump. Right. Oh, no, it jumped at me. This is going to kill the spider, surely. Yes. Get outplayed, you... Fucking freak. Well, at least I'm past the most scary monster the game could throw at me. Oh, maybe not. Really? Really, spider? How is this fucking thing still alive? Do we pull it this way? Oh! We're pulling its leg. Oh my god, that is fucking grim. So this was Limbo, a very good 2D platformer made by Playdead. The same people that brought us inside very recently. I do prefer Inside personally, just the whole aesthetic of it, but this is also a very good game and it's certainly worth picking up, especially considering it's half the price of Inside. Peon. Hey Peon. Yes? Your fans want you to play a game called Smite. Really? They want me to play another MOBA? Just play the fucking game. Okay, fine. I'll give it a try. This map reminds me a lot of Pandaria from World of Warcraft. It feels incredibly weird to be last hitting in first person. I don't know if I can get used to it. It's a very even game at the moment. Is he dead? There it is. There's the kill. Push, boys. Oh, no, I died. Okay, I wasn't looking at my health, was I? Jesus Christ. We got fucking smashed. Oh my god, this character has some good abilities. Run. 
Die! Oh my god, we got a kill! Big, big ulti! There's the kill! Big damage! Nice! My hero is so powerful right now. Big ulti! Big ulti! There's one. I'm actually doing pretty well for my second game in Smite. I'm having a ton of fun. Big kill, there it is. Let's smash this fucking tower, shall we? That's GG, I think. Alright, let's get out there, I guess. This is quite chaotic. So now I've got my ulti. I have no idea what it does. Oh my fucking god! That is a ridiculous ulti. This 5v5 mode is actually kind of cool. It's all about the team fights. Do some ham damage here. I don't know what's going on. I can't see shit. Teleport. Big damage. Big damage. There's the kill. Just running. Just run. Oh my god, you're a hacker! Every game's a loss. Every single game. Okay, so we're already off to a terrible, terrible start. It's almost like every game I'm going against pre-maids and my team are genuine noobs. How are we losing 11-1 on kills three minutes into the game? Is this going to be the game where we get our first ever smite win? Big damage! Oh my god, we got a kill! Nice! Good way to start the game. I don't know what this ability does, but let's just do it. Oh my god, that is so cool and powerful. That's four kills now. Let's go, team. Is that the tower? That is the tower. Now we can push up even more. Here we go. Let's run in with a big V. Big damage! Surely he's dead. Surely. Big V. Kill it. There it is. Oh my god. That's a four player kill streak now. Can we get another kill? Nice. That was some big ass damage. That's what it was. Big, good time for an ulti. There's one kill. MOBAs are only fun when you're winning. Nice. There we go. There's our first win in Smite. Oh my god, my kid is a ragdoll. Oh my god, Jimmy. Jimmy, please. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nice wheelie. Can we hit the brake? Uh, okay. 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 Right, speed. Ugh. Now through here. Oh no. Okay. 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 That's so brutal. Easy game. Easy game, easy, and we're dead. I'm trying to shake Jimmy loose, but the fucker won't let go. There we go, right. That's fine, John. Just run over your kid. Great parenting, 10 out of 10. Oh, okay, it's firing balls at me now. Not good, not good. John. John's fucked his arm, hasn't he? There we go. So when this game's actually released, you can be Earl and the Yang family. Oh my god, we've got we've got some real speed. We're traveling 60 miles per hour on a fucking bicycle. You what? Easy. No, 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 not like this. We're so close, we're so close. Try again, Cannonball. Okay, that kind of worked. Oh, fucking hell, what, what was that? Hello? I'm not sure what- Oh, I see there's landmines on the f floor. Okay, we've lost our son. Avoid the balls. Strafe. Strafe. No, not the landmines! Not the landmines. This one isn't too hard. What's this? Oh, we got spike. Oh no, I can't stop! I think we're good? No, we are not good. Careful does it. Watch out! Are we still alive? No. John, please. Jimmy hasn't even got a scratch on him, apart from the arrow in his knee. Big jump. Jump! No! Oh, hello? Oh, we made it! No, no, no! Saved! Saved, saved, saved! I have no idea how we managed to clear this level. Okay, the kid's already off. Nice one, Jimmy. You was really trying hard then, wasn't you? It's almost as if you want to get away from me, you little bastard. Big ramp. Ramp! Oh! Okay. Who put that there? Here we go. Perfecto!
Yes. Oh my god. That was... No, we didn't fucked it up at the end. You what? Wow. 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 Right, that is a lovely jump. That is perfect. What about this one? Is this perfect? Oh, I think we've done it. Right, just don't, don't fuck this up, John. Don't fuck this up. No clever wheelies. We have done it. Well. Speed! Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> First try. So this was the alpha version of Guts and Glory. You can download it for free off the Guts and Glory website. It's a decent amount of fun. They are going to add new characters and new maps and stuff eventually. But in its current state, you'll probably get about half an hour's worth of gameplay out of it. Okay, so this is Abzu, a brand new game that's just came out. A lot of people have suggested that I check it out. And this is my character. I quite like the art style of this game. The clouds actually remind me of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Right, so we can dive under here. And we're swimming. Look at all of these fish. They all swim out of the way. Can I steer the fish? Kinda. And we've activated some kind of robot that's scanning us. I'm not really too sure what type of game this is. Maybe it's just an exploration game. Oh wow, that's a big shark. Oh my god, just, just look at that. That is gorgeous. And there's some kind of giant portal. Swim to this. Right, so now apparently I'm not in the ocean, I am floating. So we've just spawned some manta rays. Oh my god, look at all of these fish. The fish density is crazy. They're all following me. Oh, fucking hell. I wasn't expecting that. It was, it's been all peaceful. All right, so now we're riding a sea turtle. All right, let's have a look what's in this giant door. Collect all the fish. Oh my God, look at all of these fish. This is just visually incredible. It's a real sight to behold to look at this game. Okay, so we've got dolphins. Let's go this way, there's a cave. Seems like the right place to go. Hello? Oh my god. This scene here kind of reminds me of the scene from Finding Nemo where they're riding on the back of the tortoise. Oh, whales! Now we've got swordfish. Whoa. Oh, I see. So this is like a little mission hub, it seems. I can't believe this game's actually running at 60 FPS. Oh my god. I think this game has easily won the award of most beautiful ocean ever made in a game. What are these fish? I can grab hold of these as well. So manatees are basically sea hippos. So not only is this game beautiful, but it's educational. It teaches you about different types of fish. One thing I can say is the music and the ambience of this game is actually making me really sleepy. This could be a really good game to play before bed because it's just so peaceful and the ambience will just make you want to go to sleep. Now we're going through some kind of ancient palace. It's weird, there's like flowing rivers of water underwater. I don't quite understand. These whales are eating the fish. Oh, it's, oh my god, I've just been eaten. Oh no, I haven't. I thought he was going to swallow me. This whale's huge. You right, mate? That is a big blue whale. That's really cool. It kind of gives you some idea of just how big blue whales actually are. Oh, it's a bomb! Oh, giant squid! I actually hate squid. They're fucking terrifying. Are they friends? Oh, it's a kraken. It's not even a squid. Oh my god, I'm driving a fucking kraken. This doesn't look good. There's a lot of mines. This is so weird. I was not expecting this. Okay. Well, this is bizarre. Okay, it killed the shark, and I think it killed Abzu. It seems like my character is actually a robot. Rest in peace, shark. All right, so I'm actually out of the water now. So this was Abzu, an adventure swimming game with the most beautiful ocean you will ever see. I still have no idea what the game's actually about, but I'm intrigued and I want to play it more to find out. This is a game called Monstrum. Someone recommended that I try this game in the comments. I decided to check it out and it turns out it was heavily discounted, so I bought it. Not really too sure what to expect with this game. I think it might possibly be scary, but I'm not entirely sure. What was that? Oh, okay. Put the fuse in here. Oh, fucking hell. I'm actually really... Oh. Oh, I'm really spooked. There was a voice memo that just scared the crap out of me. It's worth noting that I've got my volume up pretty loud, so 
I'm sorry if I fucking scream. Okay. I don't know if I want to continue playing this game. That was a little bit much. That just went in balls deep. Fucking hell. The game's just started and I'm already dead. Oh, there's, there's something else. There's something else. What is that? Dude, I'm so scared. I'm so fucking... I don't... No, I'm not... Fuck this game. Fuck this game, dude. The sound. I like being outside. It doesn't seem like any monsters are actually going to come on the actual deck. Hopefully, I won't be as scared the next time I see one. Hopefully. I'm so bad at horror games. Fuck off, Steam. <laughs> ah! Fuck off. Run, 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 run. Okay, it's a different monster. This is a different monster. This... It's a different monster this time! It's a different monster this time! No, I, I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it, dude. Get in! Hide! It's just scaring me in my headphones. Great, and now my fucking flashlight's not working, of course. Fuck off! It's just running at me as a phantom monster. It, it's right behind... It's, it's right behind me, dude! It's right behind me, dude! <laughs> Run! Okay, 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 okay. I think we're done. I think we... We are done. We are... Fuck this game. We're done. We are done. I do not have the balls for scary games. Not right now. My heart's racing. I just can't do it. I think I'm too old. So in a few hours, I've got my younger brother coming over who's never played a horror game before. I'm gonna be a dick and make him play Monstrum. Ah! Oh, no, that was just a fucking steam. <laughs> okay, there's giant eggs pulsating from the side of the container. Okay. Ah, what the fuck is that? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is right there? What the fuck is it doing? It's fucking crawling! I can't run. Run! Open the door! <laughs> I hear footsteps above me. Ah, what is that? Oh, he's he's coming in the room. I'm fucking off. Ah! Oh, fuck this game. Fuck it. No. We're coming through the clouds. Rest in peace, frame rate. Some people are running to the middle. Others are just running off. Let's just run off. Let's just fucking punch this bastard, shall we? Oh, bad idea. I'm out of stamina. I'm cornered by dinosaurs. I'm fucked, aren't I? I'm fucked. Nice. So at least we've got a stone pick now. I like this. You gather resources ridiculously quick. Oh, we found someone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got him. No. Oh, my God. Look at this dinosaur. I've never seen one of these before. Oh. Fuck off, bug. Fuck off, dude. Oh, my God. I, f I found a nest of them. Run. Let's kill a Triceratops, because why not? Oh, okay, maybe fighting a Triceratops was a terrible idea. Yeah, it was. It was a fucking awful idea. Let's let's kill this guy, because reasons. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I can't even... S I, am, I am so dead. I am so... I'm running. I am so dead. There's a giant-ass bird attacking me for no reason. Every dinosaur in this world is currently attacking me. Are you done, bird? Are you fucking done? Oh, my God. There's a giant dinosaur floating above me. It's not looking too good for me right now. I'm a terrible survivor. Close. What's the... Oh! Fucking raptors, dude! Well, they came out of nowhere. Survive, dude! Live! Okay, I'm, I'm somehow alive. Perhaps we should think about building a house. Oh! Fuck off, bugs! I've came so far! I've came so far, dude! I'm do I've done so well! Please don't kill me. Right, at least we killed it. I'm fucking poisoned, though. This is so hard. I need to make a roof. Now we can get in here. We can close the door. And we can chill out for a bit. Oh, my God. This Triceratops is relentless. Right, I think we've brought him down. I think he's hopefully still alive. No, he's dead. Right. Yes! Right, now we have a dinosaur with a saddle. Die, Raptor. <laughs> so as less players are in the game, the arena gets smaller. 
I'm dying. I'm trying to stay in the map. Right, okay. We are indeed surviving. Oh, what's attacking? Oh, no! That's Ark Survival of the Fittest. Would I play it again? Probably not. It just takes too long to actually have fun. You kind of spend ages crafting and then you just get taken out by a really cheap kill. Then you have to wait in queue for like 15 minutes. I wouldn't really describe it as fun. I'd rather play single player arc, to be perfectly honest. So believe it or not, guys, I'm actually an Undertale virgin. I know it was one of the games of the year of 2015, and I've had so many people tell me to play this game, but for some reason, I just haven't gotten round to it. So I think now is the time. We've made a friend, Flowery the Flower. You must be so confused. I really am Flowery. I don't really understand what this game is. Flowery the Flower is going to give me some love. Move around. I'm supposed to get... Okay. Okay, Flower. You... Oh my god, he called me an idiot. You what, mate? Mr. Flower just fucking betrayed me. He's trying to kill me. What happened? Um, hello? <laughs> the music in this game is quite interesting. Okay, a frog's just appeared out of nowhere. I want to fight the frog. Oh! She's asking me so many weird questions. I think she's trying to cook me dinner or something. Oh! All right, he's shooting at my heart. So I've got to, I've got to dodge. Okay. <laughs> this rock's just messing with me. All right, well done, Mr. Rock. Now this one's moved. There we go. Oh! You cheeky bastard! You wanted me to stay there. <laughs> this game's actually really clever. You give me a real workout. The ghost keeps saying, oh, it's a ghost, is it? I couldn't really tell. Let's try flirting with him. I'd just weigh you down. Let's cheer him again. He wants to show me something. What does the ghost want to try? I call it dapper block. He's crying upside down now. So we just spared this ghost's life. Not that it had a life, but you know what I mean. We actually made a friend. Oh, look at her face. She looks genuinely concerned for me. Cute, this is my little room. So I'm sleep in the bed. This lady wants me to stay in this realm. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Fuck off, love. My character wants to go home. I know you want a kid, but damn. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. Okay, so she's not as friendly as I thought she was. You are just like the others. Oh no, mum doesn't like me anymore. There's only one solution for this. Prove yourself. So we need to fight mum. Oh, mum. Mum, please. I I'm getting my ass handed to me. I think this is where we die. Oh my god, we got her. Okay, that was a lot of damage in one attack. Oh, she called me my child. Oh, mum. I hope we didn't kill her. I think we killed her. We actually killed mum. Her heart is broken. Her soul is gone. This game is deep. I actually feel horrible. I should have tried not to kill her. What are they doing? <laughs> Hello? This game's actually quite funny. I'm actually getting into this game. It's quite enjoyable. It's extremely weird. And it does a lot of unexpected things that you wouldn't really expect in a game. It's quite funny as well. He's gonna make me all the pasta I could ever want. <laughs> nice. This is an interesting puzzle. I see. Easy puzzle, easy life. There we go. This puzzle's entirely random. Is it really? Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, he's just, uh, span off. So this was Undertale, a retro puzzle and adventure game that really likes to fuck with you. This game won a ton of awards in 2015, and I'm not sure why it's taken me this long to try it, but I'm certainly not disappointed. All right, so this is Demolition. From the looks of it, it's a lot like CSGO, where one team defends and the other team attacks. There's two bomb sites, A and B, and the other team need to plant the bomb. What are we dealing with here? All right, there's one. There's a kill. Nice headshot. Oh, okay, we got him. All right, there's another one. So this is Terminal Conquest. It would appear as though it's like domination or some kind of capture point objective thing. Oh my god, this guy's invisible. All right, he's dead. Double kill. Triple kill. Tetra kill, you what? 
Now, the enemy team have a tank for some reason. I'm not sure why they have a tank. We don't have a tank. Can shoot the tank and deal damage to it. Final terminal. Okay, so if we get this one, then we win. It's the first of five. There's a double kill. Is that triple? I don't know. Tetra kill. Wow. And there's the win. Nice. Right, now we should be level three. I fucking wrecked that game. I must say, judging by people's ranks, the matchmaking doesn't seem to be very balanced. So let's run up here. That guy fell through the floor. Okay. Oh, baby, a triple! Now I can use my Q ability, and that's going to scan the area and reveal the enemy positions. Hip firing is definitely the way forward with this game. Using your sights is just a bad idea, it seems. You get operative licenses, and it unlocks different operatives with different abilities. This guy can set down turrets. Let's just fucking get in there. There's one. There's two. There's... Oh, no! I'm out of ammo! No! Fuck my gun! Fucking sneak in here. Taking out these people camping in this room. No one has ever done that! Oh my god, we got a Tetra kill, I think, in the end. I think if anyone that has ever played an FPS plays this game, the first thing you're going to notice and probably complain about is the map design. It's atrocious. It's some of the worst FPS map design I have ever seen. Nice kill. Nice kill. We get this guy. Tetra kill? What? Oh my god, Penta kill? What's this? That's a six kill. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. Six kills in a row. So this was Ghost in the Shell First Assault Online. It's not the best FPS you'll ever play by all means. It's got a lot of problems such as team balance. Map design is fucking atrocious. This map is a great example of that. But for a free to play FPS, it's actually not too bad. You'll probably get an hour or two of fun out of it, so maybe if you're an FPS fan, worth giving a try if you're completely bored. So that's it for episode four of Gaming Session, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. My top three recommended games from this episode are Smite at number three, Abzu at number two, and at number one, Undertale. I had quite a bit of fun with Smite. It's quite interesting to experience a MOBA from a totally different perspective. Abzu was just a very unique experience. I've never seen an ocean like that in a game before. And I really like Undertale. It does so many unexpected things, and it seems like the game just really likes to fuck with you. If you did enjoy this video, then please do give it a like, as it actually helps quite a lot. Thanks for watching. You take it easy, and I'll see you again really soon. Let me open up like this is door knocker. Show you how I lay it down, boy, so proper. No scallop or much class. A gem fell under your nose like a mustache. My pen's flat. Equivalent of a benzo, hemp class. So far, my wardrobe come a jet lag. Okay, I guess we're ready.